Yo, so check this out, right? In the 80s and 90s, if you had a troop jacket, an eight ball jacket, the Vucci, Averex, Pelly, yo, even advanced in the joint from the 112 video, you probably was the man. You miss out that leather jacket smell, you want that old thing back? I can help you with that. Come on, let's politic. <laughs> Straight to the point today, huh? Absolutely, man. Straight to the point. So welcome back to Merchant, y'all. Good. Hey, and if this is y'all first time tuning in with us, welcome to Merchant, your hip hop fragrance platform where we talk all oh, things fragrances and, and all things hip hop. Hey, but before we continue, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and jump in the comments. Cracking in them comments. Yeah, run them up for us right quick. So AJ, what's good? What what you got in your hand, man? What's this one? So I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about this review, man. I got a lot to say about it. Okay. This is Ombre Leather by Tom Ford EDP. I'm kind of worried. I'm kind of worried. <laughs> this ED, so this is the EDP? Yeah. Okay. It's EDP. Tom Ford. This is leather in the bottle. I kid you not. This is an Averex jacket in the bottle, man. It definitely is. Straight coat factor when you, when you spray this, man. Yep. I feel like when you first spray it, it's pure leather. And then the dry down, I think you get more so of a bitter smell from it, me personally. But, uh... I don't... I, so, so, I don't really get a bitter... I don't get a bitter dry down. I get that... I get a smoky... So, so in the opening, for me, for this one... For, for me, like in the opening, you get, you get leather just punching you in your face. You get strong leather punching you in your face. And then on the dry down, you get that. I get a little creamy. I get a little creaminess with some smoke. Okay. I don't really get that bitter that you picking I up. I don't get smoke. I get, like I said, more of a bitter smell, I think, on the dry down. See, I don't get bitter a at all. sour, you know. Uh, I feel like. You said it punches you in the face. That first. leather does. That yeah, leather is, is, is real bold. The bo so, so, the so, main accords is certainly leather in this, though. This one right here, y'all, is a very controversial fr uh, fragrance, right? Okay. Either, either you love this one or you hate it. And that's what we at. AJ don't like it. I don't like it at all, He don't, man. He don't <laughs> like it at all, and I love it. This one is controversial. It's leather in a bottle. If you like leather, if you love leather... This one is for you. This one, you will you will enjoy this fragrance. It's pure earthy leather, and like I said, is a great when spirit. it opens up, when you first spray this on, it just punches you. All you get is leather. Then on the dry down, it kind of smooths it smooths itself out a little bit. You get you get the leather, but it's creamy, and then you get this smoke. You get this smokiness with it. I love it. It's like, I don't see a youthful personality rocking this job. You in high school, you ain't going to wear that. I, I, I can see that. You ain't going to wear that. It's very mature. It's mature. Dominant. It's, like, mature. it's very masculine. I don't see a, I don't see a chick sporting this at all. I ain't going well, to wear that. So, it is unisex. It's unisex. Now, okay. it, ha it, has, it has a jasmine note in there. Right. And I think that jasmine note is what tends to make it lean a little unisex that's oh, what gives it that's the little sweetness that you get i think it's that jasmine note as well as it got some amber in there but this is very this is very masculine it's very masculine but it's unisex i would say about 50 percent of women that smell this like it and when it comes to men i would say about 70 percent of men like it okay but again this one is like you said everex in a bottle this is an eight ball jacket sure. in, the, in the bottle this this is leather at its finest. It's leather at its finest, man. If you like leather seats in your car, if you like leather coats, rock this with your leather coat. If you have a leather coat, if you want a leather coat, you've been waiting to try to save up for that Pelly. You Averex. want that new Averex, but you can't get it, go grab this, put this on. Put this on until you get it. You will love this. If you like the way that leather smells, this fragrance is for you. It is. So retail is going to run you about two hundred twenty-five. Yeah, you can cop this from you know a lot of places. Of Tom Everybody Ford has website. it. Tom Ford has it on the website, and Tom Ford, if you go on their website, they also offer like a firm payments and maybe even shop pay. Okay. If that's the direction you want to go in, 
You can go on the website, but everybody has this Max Aroma Twisted Lily. You can pretty much go anywhere and get this particular fragrance. It's a it's a well talked about and renowned fragrance. You know, again, it's it's controversial. People love it or they hate it. You're not gonna really be in the middle with this one right here. Yeah. This one. So what, what would you rate this one at, AJ? Give me a 5.5 5 out of 10, man. That's the low 5.5. 5. Give me a 5.5. That's kind of disrespectful, 5. man. That's the lowest rating we didn't get so far. Yeah. On this platform. That's the lowest rating we didn't gave a, a bottle. Yeah, you definitely gotta have a nose for this one. Not a blind buy. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I like it, man. You got you got some cardamom in there, you got some amber, you got some moss, some patchouli, you got leather, and then you got that jasmine. I'm feeling this one, man. I, but I, I like leather fragrances. You definitely want to get a sample. It's not, it's not for everybody. Get you a sample. If you, you want to try this one out, get a sample. Yeah. I'm going to go. I'm going to give it a. Don't say 10. Nah, I'm not going to give it a 10. But I'm going to give it a. I'm going to give it an 8.5. An 8.5? I go 8.5. Nah, that's surprising. I thought you were going to give it a 10 or a 9. I give it an 8.5. <laughs> I give it an 8. Now, and, and it is. Like I said, again, the leathery, when you first spray it on, it's in your face. This one lasts long. It lasts for a long time. You're going to get 10 hours out of this one. You're going to get 10 hours. And the CIs, how this one projects, they're going to smell you. They're going to smell you coming. They're going to smell you down the street. It's very nice. It's very bold. Down the street's crazy. Down the street. This one is strong. Very unique smell. You, got, it's, 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 you can wear it again like we always stress. Wear your fragrances, where you want to wear them, how you want to wear them. But it's meant for cooler weather. Right, right now it's perfect. That cool air with this is like perfect. You know, you get caught on a summer day, a 90 degree day wearing this. I don't know. I don't know. But <laughs> cooler weather is fine. You can rock this on cooler on cooler weather days. Uh, this is the 100 ml, by the way. 100 ml. This is the 100 ml. Yeah, this one nice, man. I, I'm really feeling this one. Man, I'm yeah. really feeling this one. I, I like this better than Tuscan days. leather. They, Tus Tom Ford also has uh, tu uh, uh, Tuscan leather one. I like Tuscan. I, I, I like this. I prefer this over Tuscan leather, me personally. I like that because it got it has that jasmine note in there. It's a little sweeter. I like this one. Okay. But uh, switching it to hip hop. The fun part. This was the fun part for me, y'all, because it was a fragrance that I like. Yeah, not this but, one for me. All right, so, all right, so switching to hip hop. Buster Rhymes just dropped the project. Buster. Buster Rhymes just dropped the project. I checked it out. It's decent tracks. On it's there. decent. It's yeah. decent. I like the song with Quavo. He got a couple joints on there. That's that's cool. Uh, okay. I like it. I like it. I want to see Buster put out more material. Yeah, he's been pretty consistent. I think he dropped like a year and a half ago or two years ago or something like that. Yeah, I, I want to see him. I want to see him keep cranking it out. But it was decent. It was decent for a Buster Rhymes album. I'm not mad at it at all. He got some. He got some solid tracks on there. Okay. Money Man, which I wanted to discuss Money Man before, but we we didn't get around to it. Money Man got the project. I think it's called Crop Tober. Okay. Solid project. I like it a lot. But outside of this project, Money Man as a outside of Money Man being an artist, just Money Man being an entrepreneur and all around yeah, hustler, businessman, I got to salute Money Man. Yeah, Money Man don't man. have a problem giving up the game. If you in the crypto, if you in the stocks, Money Man right. don't he don't he don't have a problem giving up the game. And that and that's not something that you see a lot of people do. But Money Man, he's really he, he Money Man. He really trying to help yeah, people get to the bag. Man. I salute Money Man, but sure. check out that project. But your uh, Buster drop, man. Uh, who else would you like to see drop this year, uh, even next year? I mean, you know, 23 or 20, 23 over with. 24? Yeah, so who's I'll, the three artists you'd like to see drop next year? Next year? I was, yeah. I'm going to go with I'm gonna go with Future. Future. I want Fabulous to drop. Fabulous plan. Bring man. us a soul tape. I want four, Fabulous five, to nine. drop. I want Fabulous to drop, hands down. Uh, push. I think I won't push to drop. I won't okay. push to drop. I won't push the T to drop. I think he got. I think he feels that. Uh, he got to make up for this last project. Okay. I think he. Is he dropping that tape? They say. I, I think. Any day I think, now, push. I think push gonna try to come back with with a banger. Uh, I think we need a Jay Z out. Four 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 came out in like 2016 or 17. 
I think seven years ago. It's time for another. It's time for another Jay Z project. My lifetime four, I mean, uh, volume four would be cold, man. Volume but, four, nah. Give him a, man, volume I love four? a volume four, man. Uh, let me see. Nah, I'd like to see another little baby. I'm, just, I'm, you know, I'm pretty excited to see what little baby got in store for us. Uh, hopefully, he can drop next. Year. I think, I think little baby gonna crank something out next year for us. I think little baby gonna crank something out. I think forty two does. I think four two does. Est. I think sure. I think Fo Two Doug he might go crazy. I went mad. I went mad getting a Fo Two Doug project. I, I, I was rocking heavy with that uh, Forty Two Doug and ESTG. That was decent. They could bring us a that was decent. Like, right, that was Kodak, decent. Most definitely Kodak. I'd like to see what he could bring out for us next season. Kodak just dropped. Yeah, I'd bring us another one. Another man. one for sure. Yeah, I don't know about but Dirk. Uh, a couple artists, I'm, you know, uh, I'm, I'm really excited to see the collaborations with a lot of them. So, Dirk and Lil Baby bring us something too, man. I'm waiting for ESCG to drop a project um, that we've been waiting on. ESCG been dropping projects and they've been decent, but ESCG ain't gave us the project that we know he can bring ESCG out. ESCG been on the road. Yeah, but he, snapped he, on that Westside but he, that, that song with him and Westside gonna call. He snap. What's it called? Johnny and, what's it called? John and Steve, Johnny and Steve, that, I think. That project, that song, decent, but ESCG ain't ain't hit us with the with the joint with the classic that he can drop okay. that we know he got in him. He ain't gave us that one yet. I'm waiting on that. I was rocking with the 42 Doug joint he had, man. That was decent. That was yeah, that was decent. That, uh... But again, ESTG has a classic, man, in him. He got a classic. He got that classic. They they deem him the, the he's the next Jeezy. They say he the new Jeezy. They, they deem it they deeming him the new Jeezy. So. I'm ready to see that that Thug Motivation 101 that he got. Okay. I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to see that. I'm ready. I'm I'm, ra I'm waiting on him to pull that one out the bag, man. Yeah, I think he got it in him. I'm waiting on him to pull that one out the bag, but check out Nipsey Hustle the Marathon Don't Stop. For sure. Check that one out. Go check out Tom Ford, Ombre Love, the EDP joint. Go take. Go check this one out. This one is nice. I like it, man. I like it a lot. But get you a sample. Hey, for sure. Get, get you a sample. sample. I ain't trying to sample. I'm not trying to send nobody off. I don't want nobody mad at me. Go grab a sample. Check this one out. If you like leather, you will love this. If you miss your old A-ball jacket, you will love <laughs> this. Go Everest grab in the bottom. Man, Everex in the bottom. A Davucci in the bottom. Davucci in the bottom. A in the bottom. For sure. How was some in the bottom? <laughs> go grab go grab this. Go grab it. Other than that, we good? Good. You sure? Yeah. We got nothing else? Nah. All right, real recognize real. And you look familiar. Love you, son. Love you too, Pop. Yeah. Much love. Love y'all.